Well, this is our frozen Ferris wheel for demonstration purposes. It's going to rotate clockwise, then counterclockwise, and it's going to have a light show that's turned on by photoresistors. So when the light goes off, the light show will start for us. And so when it's rotating one way, it will play one frozen song, and then once it rotates the other way, it will play the other frozen song for you guys. And most of this, what you guys are looking at, is custom built and custom water jetted. It's driven by a stepper motor. Um, we've got a belt drive, there's like a 3 to 1 uh, reduction in the belt drive. We have a slip ring in the front to transfer the wires to the LEDs through the rotating wheel. The motor circuit's driven off of a pick. The light show is also off of a pick. Our sound card, it's triggered by the pick. Started by the start button here. The lights are off, so the light show starts. Change the volume. So now it's rotating the other way, and here's that other song we have for it. Do you want to build a snowman? Do you want to go with me? So the control box is all custom fabbed out of MDF. So this is our pit or our breadboard with the motor circuit on it. Um, the pick is over here. We've got a 450 hex buffer to isolate the, you know, the high impedance motor circuit from our pick. Um, the buttons for the volume, button for the power, our speakers mounted in here. And then we've got the sound card on this side here. So we've got the transistors here. These are uh, Darlington array transistors, so they have built-in uh, flyback diodes so we to allow the 12 volt source to the motor. The LED uh, array is driven through uh, relays, and that breadboard is down here. So the pick's here, and then we've got the three relays here. Each spoke is running about 30 volts. 